The first level is when your puppy sleeps throughout the night in their bedroom. This level normally lasts for a few weeks. After you have seen enough improvement in potty consistency from your puppy in their new apartment during the daytime, you can advance to level 2 of the training. Level 2 is when you allow your puppy to sleep in a new bed outside of their apartment in a small enclosed room like a laundry room. Or you can attach an optional playpen to the apartment to give your puppy a little more freedom at night. Once your puppy is accident free during level 2, you can advance to level 3. Level 3 is when you allow your puppy to sleep in a new bed outside of their apartment without being in an enclosed room or playpen. You can even consider putting the apartment in your bedroom at night if your puppy is not waking you up while you're sleeping. Once your puppy is accident free during level 3, you can give yourself a big pat on the back. Now you can relax for the next 10 to 15 years and enjoy your dog without all the hassles of the old fashioned potty training methods. Your dog will have a permanent bathroom for the remainder of their life. Now let's get to the training. We'll begin with level 1. First off, do not have any food in your puppy's apartment at any time. If you prefer, you can attach an optional water bottle on the side of the apartment. Also, make sure you remove your puppy's collar before you let them enter their new apartment. We suggest only having your puppy wear a collar when they're outside of your home. Don't punish your puppy by putting or forcing them into their apartment. Your puppy's apartment should not be associated with punishment or anything negative. If your puppy ever needs a little extra motivation to go into their bedroom, simply toss a treat or a favorite toy on their bed. Please understand the Potty Training Puppy Apartment was designed to allow your puppy to sleep and potty the same way we do. Do not leave your puppy in the apartment for long periods of time except for when they're sleeping at night. Make sure your puppy gets plenty of exercise and playtime each day so when you put your puppy into their apartment they're rested and relaxed. If your puppy does not get enough exercise and playtime they may chew their bedding or potty pad in their apartment. Exercise is also extremely important for the health of your puppy and it also allows them to sleep peacefully throughout the night. It is very important that you use the potty training puppy apartment in a responsible manner. It's okay to have your puppy in their apartment for short periods of time during the daytime. For example, if you need to run a few errands or you're having dinner with the family. You can also place their apartment next to you if you have to make a few phone calls or pay some bills. This way, if your puppy uses their bathroom, you can instantly praise and reward them. You should also give them a bone or chew toy when you put them in their bedroom during the daytime. Make this a special toy that they only get when you put them in their bedroom. This way they'll associate their bedroom with a positive experience. Toys that we recommend are ones that cannot be easily swallowed or chewed to bits. Keep in mind that puppies are at a chewing stage and you should be careful what items you allow your puppy to play with. The first night will be an interesting experience for you and your puppy. It is very normal for your puppy to have an accident in their bedroom the first night or two. However, your puppy will naturally learn very quickly not to have accidents in their bedroom. It is normal for your puppy to cry or whine when you put them to sleep at night when they first start using their new apartment. The crying time will decrease each night and it's important to ignore the crying because if you do not ignore it, your puppy will learn that crying gets your attention. We also suggest giving your puppy a special bone or chew toy at night as this will help ensure they do not chew on their potty pad. You have two options of where you can place your puppy's apartment at night when it's time to go to sleep. The first option is placing your puppy's apartment next to you in your bedroom. If you have a small puppy, we suggest elevating your puppy's apartment on a sturdy table so your puppy can see you. Otherwise, placing it on the floor is fine as long as your puppy can still see you. We suggest positioning your puppy's apartment so the bedroom section of their apartment is the closest section to you. This first option normally limits how much your puppy will whine or cry in the beginning. It also allows you to easily change the potty pad after your puppy potties. We strongly recommend this first option if you live in a condominium, an apartment, or have other people living in your home. The second option is to place your puppy's apartment in a room that is far away from your bedroom. This option works fine, however your puppy may cry or whine for several minutes or even hours. 
This is normal for any type of potty training method, so there is no need to worry about your puppy. You will notice the crying time decrease each night and eventually the crying and whining will completely stop. Your puppy will learn that when you put them in their apartment at night, they will be safe and that you will be there in the morning when they wake up. Some dog owners that choose this option will also use a baby video monitor to see when their puppy potty so they can change their potty pad. If you choose this second option, you might want to invest in some earplugs for the first week or two. Depending on the age of your puppy, we suggest that you wake up once or twice a night for the first week or two to change the potty pad in your puppy's bathroom as your puppy is getting used to their new apartment. However, remember to only change the potty pad when your puppy is not crying. Your puppy appreciates a clean bathroom just like we do. During the daytime, you should have your puppy outside of their apartment as much as possible and closely supervise your puppy because this is when your puppy will have an accident in your home. It only takes a few seconds to happen. Puppies naturally sniff, circle, and restlessly move around when they need to go potty. Never scold or punish your puppy if you catch them having an accident. The best method to use if you catch your puppy having an accident is to speak to them in a harsh tone, for example saying no, or a noise like eh, eh You can also designate a confined area in your home that is considered a timeout area for your puppy when they have an accident. Only leave your puppy in a timeout for a few minutes. If you do not catch your puppy in the act of having the accident, but happen to find the accident at another time, never punish your puppy or use any harsh tones because your puppy will be confused and will begin to fear you and not know why you're scolding them. Also, do not give them a timeout in this situation. The best overall method is to speak in a harsh tone if you catch them in the act and praise them in a nice tone when they potty in their apartment. This repetition on your part will accelerate level one training. We also recommend giving training treats to your puppy after they use their bathroom. This will reinforce the behavior. One training tip that you can use during the daytime is to have your puppy on a leash that is attached to your waist. This way if your puppy has an accident you can immediately correct them. Puppies usually potty after napping, playing and eating so it will be very easy for you to predict potty times. Puppies 6 to about 10 weeks old normally potty every 1 to 2 hours. Between 10 weeks to 4 months every 2 to 3 hours from four months to adulthood every four to five hours. Keep in mind that every puppy is unique and some may go more often than others. Your puppy will probably have accidents the first few weeks which is normal for any potty training method. The more time you spend supervising and training your puppy the faster it will become fully potty trained with their apartment. It is extremely important to praise your puppy whenever they go potty in their bathroom. For example, saying a very nice tone, good boy or good girl. This will reinforce the behavior and speed up the training process. In addition, this is also a great time to reward your puppy with a training treat. Another great training tip is to physically place your puppy into their bathroom after they have napped and say, go potty. Praise them if they happen to go potty and there's a good chance they will. Repeating this tip in the future will teach your puppy that when you say, go potty, when they're in their bathroom, it means to go potty. Also, letting your puppy out of their apartment after they potty is a nice way to reward your puppy for good behavior. Timing is very important in teaching the go potty technique. First, you need to familiarize your puppy with the words go potty so they can associate those words with an action. The best way to do this in the beginning is to wait for your puppy to completely finish potting and then immediately say, go potty. Make sure you wait to say go potty until they have completely finished pottying, but make sure you say it within one to two seconds after they finish pottying. If you praise your puppy or say go potty too early, your puppy may stop pottying and then have an accident a few minutes later. It is important not to speak to your puppy while they're pottying and always wait until they have completely finished pottying. After your puppy is completely finished pottying, say go potty, then praise them and give them a treat. After you do this a few times, you can then start saying go potty when you place your puppy in their bathroom and they will understand what those words mean and it will help to trigger them to go potty. Keep in mind, they will not always potty when you say go potty, but the more you practice this technique, the more often they will go potty when you say go potty.
Pan. Good boy, Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. When you're not using the go potty technique, another tip is to ignore your puppy when you sense they're about ready to potty on their own during the daytime. If you try to encourage your puppy to potty, they may think that you may want to play and they may forget to go potty. You can even pretend to wash dishes or clean around the room you have the puppy's apartment located in. Keep in mind that some puppies may urinate out of excitement or intimidation. If this is the case with your puppy, we suggest that you always greet your puppy in a calm manner and if necessary, even ignoring them for a few minutes. Never raise your voice or scold your puppy if they accidentally urinate out of excitement or intimidation. Most puppies will outgrow this behavior before they're a year old. If you have a dog that has territorial issues, you may notice them urine marking around the house. Dogs normally urine mark when they think something is threatening their territory. Here are a few common reasons this may be happening. The addition of a new family member. Visitors to the home. Odors family members bring in. People or other dogs or animals passing by. Conflicts between dogs and the family. Living in a new home that does not have the dog's familiar odors. Urine marking is most common in adult male dogs that have not been neutered. However, it can also happen with other dogs too. To help avoid this annoying problem, try changing your dog's environment so they do not come in contact with the things that are triggering the marking. If urine marking or urinating from excitement or intimidation continues, we recommend that you see your veterinarian or a certified animal behaviorist or a dog trainer. Separation anxiety is also another behavior that may cause your puppy to have accidents and may require professional help. It will also help to place your potty training puppy apartment in a convenient location for your dog or puppy. If you live in a two or three story home, you may want to consider getting a potty training puppy apartment for each level of your home so your puppy will always have easy access to their bathroom. At this point in level one training, it becomes simple repetition and consistency and your puppy will be ready for level two training in no time. Once your puppy is accident free in your home during the daytime, we suggest moving to level two training. Level one training will be the most intensive part of the training. Once again, it's very important to remember that you may have a very unique puppy that may require some extra attention during level one training. The time and work you dedicate to your puppy now will pay off in the long run. There is nothing better than a properly potty trained dog with a puppy apartment and we all know that hard work pays off. Your purchase of the puppy apartment tells us that you're a dedicated and responsible dog owner. Our job is to give you the tools and techniques to be successful in potty training your puppy or dog and your job is to apply those tools and techniques. Any truly committed dog owner will have success with the potty training puppy apartment.